guys, this is Tulem. So sometimes we don't know that we've placed ourselves into an imaginary box and we think that we cannot get out and it is until someone makes us um, aware of it and helps us awaken to our own self-deception which is the inability to see the problem until someone makes us aware of it. Now, there's a lot of layers that I could get into this video, but I'm just going to scrape the surface and dip in some areas because there's a lot of underlining reasons as to why we do things consciously and unconsciously. So it goes way back to even your childhood. Now, we have to think of where you are now because you can't get to where you want to be unless you know where you are to begin with. And we need the ability to admit where we are now because we are so focused on where we want to be and the end goal. So we lie to ourselves and we self uh, betray ourselves, placing us and keeping us in this box. How do you even know that you're in this box? First of all, when you're in this box, you have a distorted view, <clears throat> sorry, distorted view of reality and your needs are much more important than other people's and people seem object-like. So you'll know you're in this box in the first place because of self-deception. So you are blinded to the problem at hand. Most easy example is you have convinced yourself that your boyfriend or girlfriend still loves you even though he or she has said that they wanna break up. So what you're doing is you're hurting yourself um, provided that you know the truth um, but you're doing something different so you are self portraying yourself and there's a lot of layers that we could get into there but I'm not going to go into that because I'm going to get to the point. You can also know you're in the box because you feel stuck, you want to go from A to B, you're frustrated and you're, you're just like I want to get out of here. So now you justify your actions for not doing something and you victimize yourself and you blame other people and you view your reality in a different way and in here in this box it's very well it is very easy to fall into this because we're very unaware of it and it's, it's easy to blame other people um, for the lack of action so many people deceive themselves to avoid making difficult changes and it doesn't have to be, but we make it so much um, worse than it actually is uh, because we don't know what to do in the first place. So we put ourselves in this box instead of seeing it in a different perspective. Basically, we deny our truth as deception is rooted in self-betrayal. We deny our own truth. We do things we don't want to. We say things we don't mean or say. And you know, if you ever thought of a time when you thought, why did why did I say that? Or why did I act like that? Um, why did I agree to that? I didn't mean to. You are trying to fit in or impress or just denying your truth in general. So you're betraying yourself to your truest self and to your soul. And when we don't want to face situations of, or people, we distract ourselves with um, the comfort of our daily routine, material possessions, shopping. We um, concern ourselves with s social concerns and we turn to conformity for security. But you don't have to be so hard on yourself. It's better to be a diamond in a rough rather than, you know, a fake make and denying it. So everyone who's watching this is a diamond in a rough. So how do you even get out of this box? It's as simple as knowing that you're in this box and seeing the problem at hand in a different perspective. If you think how small and tiny we are compared to the world, the universe, the multiverse, our problems are so much smaller than they actually are and our needs are so much smaller than they actually are. Not to say that your needs are not important but we um, get so caught up in our needs and wants and our problems and we don't see them in a different perspective 
so the higher more perspective that you have especially when you see it from such a high point um you almost see it clearer and knowing that you're in the box will set you free and doing what you really mean saying what you really mean and doing everything that's true and true to others will heal you and set you free and ultimately will make you more empowered and most importantly as well is we self betray ourselves by doing this as well so you you know that you should do something but you don't so now you make a justification for it by saying well he or she is lazy or well he or she doesn't do this enough so I have now placed myself in this box and I have a problem and I victimize myself for it so it's becoming aware of that um, because we know deep down because it all arises from what we know that we should do but we don't so we lie to ourselves and we don't see the problem at hand thank you very much for watching and see you in my next video thank you very much